Okay, here we have a Raspberry Pi uh, Model B uh, Revision 2. And what it did was uh, use a uh, an old IDE hard drive cable, AD conductor. And it put, connect the one end to the Raspberry Pi's uh, GPIO. And the, other, the other end, all it did was put a couple of uh, solid copper wires uh, to the other end here and it corresponds to the GPIO's uh, pin uh, 25, 26, 4, 23, 2, 21 so it's 21, 23, 21, 24, 26, and 25 so 25 is ground, which is negative. 25 is the GPIO 7. 26, 5, 4, 24 is um, GPIO 8. Pin 22 is GPIO um, 25, I believe. 25, yeah. Okay, and, and with a couple of uh, shells, a couple of commands in the shell, I'm just gonna do a little light show there. So we have a simple light show using just three LEDs and a simple one kilo ohm resistor here. One kilo ohm, brown, black, red is uh, one kilo ohm resistor here. The uh, gold band is just the uh, tolerance. You can, you know, really need to care about that because the amount of power going through here is three milliamps. So it's so low that it really doesn't matter. Um, any resistor will do. Any uh, one kilo ohm resistor will do. And uh, the code is very simple. It's uh, right there. These are shell commands. I actually wrote that I should uh, invoke the uh, shell commands in Perl. But you don't have to do that. These are just uh, shell commands, which is uh, just this part, which is bin echo. Or you can just type echo, echo, and then, and then, uh, and then uh, pin 7, let's say. And uh, it would just go to the uh, ports here, which is actually, uh, you can actually find that at um, xlinux.org, e-l-i-n-u-x.org, and they, they give you the pinouts and everything, and uh, it's, I mean, they show you everything, which is, uh, I just took this part. It's just echo pin uh, 4, which I used uh, pin 7, 8, and 25. So I would put echo uh, 25 and then redirect it to there. As you can see. And so, you know, the little light show together. And I just put, used the. Uh, uh, sleep command. And that's what made the delays. So if we were to repeat this, I mean, you could just use it to control anything. And that's all there is to it. That's, that's all that you need. The Raspberry Pi does everything for you. So all, all you need is a simple shell uh, redirect. Okay, at, at the uh, uh, at the uh, command prompt, you just type in this, or you just copy and paste this uh, three lines of uh, the shell commands, and uh, that's it. One one of the things you might want to look into is um, 
one of those headers if you don't want to uh, do that work. You can just get one of these headers. Find it on Amazon. Amazon carries these. Headers have various ones. Um, Uh, it's got to be one of these because uh, it's got to have two. It's got to have pins sticking on both ends. Let's see the magnifies? Yeah, the magnifies. So it's got to have pins on both ends, which is um, right here. So let's say this goes to your circuit board, your solidless circuit board, your experimenter's board, and this side, let's say, goes to the uh, ribbon cable, like. This guy here. So one end goes here. Well, this end could go to the uh, circuit board. So instead of these uh, solid copper wires, which just uh, just a temporary solution here. Or well, you can, you know, if you're careful, you can use that. The other thing you can use on, you can just grab them on Amazon, is uh, they, have, they have full headers that you can look for. You could just put in, uh, actually, search for uh, GPIO, actually, uh, 26 pin, and it looks like uh, I'm not the only one who's searched for this. As you can see it's got everything you need. This one here. Okay. Has the uh has the uh the header the uh the ribbon cable and this is the circuit board that you solder you have to solder yourself to have a, a connector here that you have to solder to here. So that you can plug one end to the uh, uh, Raspberry Pi and the other end to the circuit board, which you solder. You have 26 pins around here, 13 and 13, that you uh, solder, and then you use it for your own uh, circuit design. This guy here, as you can see, you plug it in. It shows you here. So you have to solder this guy. You have to solder this, the header to the circuit board, and then you can use that to plug into uh, this guy here. Plug it directly into that solderless uh, breadboard, circuit board, experimenter's board, whatever you want to call it. Um, not a lot of money. Okay, just to, uh, and just to get a little carry away here, let's do a little light show. Yeah, and I'm getting a little carry away here, but here you go, there's your light show. Okay. Alright, so, there you go.